Welcome to Glasgow School of Sport. The following is a sample of some of the training that's done within the badminton programme. Traditional high service is mainly used in singles. It's forced, used to force the opponent to the rear of the court and open up the front court to build the rallies. Backhand low serve is mainly used in doubles play. Played as tight to the net and as close to the front service line as possible, which will force your opponents hopefully to hit the shuttle upwards. One step shadow movements. Footwork exercises to increase the speed and explosion from a base. Focus on the correct movements and work with the feet apart. Aim to return to a central base using good posture. One step attacking jumps. Similar movements to the one step shadow movements where a player jumps to play attacking shots in the mid and the rear court. Feet are apart, lead the stroke with the racket. Land and prepare for the next jump. Shadow badminton is used in all areas of play. With this practice, the coach will point to a corner and the player moves in that direction. It gives a good opportunity to practice closed movements where the player knows where they're going and also within an open environment. Once the shadow movement is the highest quality, it's then much easier to integrate the shuttles. When the shuttles are, are involved, players have more vari variables to consider. Speed attack. An example of speed training is a player travels from the rear to the front court. A player smashes or attacks an area, looks for the ply and comes forward and an attacking style to play a net kill. This can be replicated with any sequence around the court. Routines. Another example of predicted play. Player plays cross court and then straight from the rear before coming to the net. Again, this can be replicated within any sort of sequence around the court. Corners. Control corner work where player returns all the strokes to the front court. These can be made more difficult by increasing the intensity. Also playing in any order will bring the practice closer to match conditions. At present the player knows where the shuttles are going. This makes it much easier and can help player work on technique or movement within the control practice. Defence work. Push off the rear leg to increase the speed forward. Lunge onto racket leg, play the stroke and use the opposite arm for balance. On completion of the stroke, use both legs to recover from the lunge, return to a base for the next shot.
Faster paced multi shuttles practice can be used to put the player under pressure and help them move more quickly. One single shuttle is back in play then the player finds the game much easier. This can be done in a controlled environment where the player knows where the shuttles are going and in an open style where the player awaits a reply and must react. Single shuttle work, the player works firstly on the forehand side and then will work on the backhand side. Defence practice is much easier if players gain a good length on the lifts and the clears, and also timing of the split step allows the player greater balance and control to play the shuttle back. In defence it is important to have a wide base and work with the feet apart. Doubles defence. Racket out in front looking to meet the shuttle early. Again, feet apart, soft knees looking to move quickly. Playing the stroke and quickly ready for the reply. And driving and pushing, players are looking to play as close to the net as possible. Maintain a rhythm with the feet. Doubles net attack. High racket carriers looking to take the shuttle as early as possible in front of the body. Work the feet to ensure the quick recovery and readiness for the next shot. Feet should always be apart, help with balance and the explosive movements. Hit and recover after each stroke. <laughs> 